Hi, this is Krista at Snuggle and Snore. Today we're making the easiest, fastest, most practical DIY dog toys. So what you're gonna need to make this puppy toy, now it's not my idea, this is from the comments below, which is why it's so great if you put your comments underneath the videos. We all learn from each other, and this is what I have learned from you, is to find tube socks, which I couldn't find tube socks, but I did find men's socks, just regular ones from my grocery store, believe it or not, and they were a dollar a pair. I don't think they're gonna be that they're not like athletic socks, so they're probably gonna tear through pretty easy. If you have thicker socks, the thicker the better and the taller the better. But this is as good as I could do and I just found ones that weren't like the least ugly ones. I mean, you probably wouldn't wanna wear them as socks, but for a dog toy or dog toys, I thought they're super cute. So this is enough to make four if they were thick, but I'm gonna double them up and make two. The other supplies you're gonna need are just your random socks. Uh, your loose socks, or these are actually socks that no longer fit my children. They've all grown up and don't fit that sock anymore. And they're all kind of stretched out at the top too. So on to the puppies with the loose socks. So this is how we do it. Four to five years so cute those days are gone all right so one sock and the other sock I'm gonna put them together just because these are kind of more dress socks than athletic there we go two socks together and now take your loose socks or your spare socks, your weird socks, and stuff the tube sock. Space for a couple more socks in there. There we go. That feels right. So this is a pretty big sock. That's about at least 10 or 11 inches. So I'm just going to put it in this foot part because it's not a tube sock. And this is enough to tie nicely to tie it shut. So now stretch it out and tie it shut like making a balloon or tying a balloon shut. Jiminy crickets. Uh, there we go. Now these are supposed to be super great because you can throw them in the washing machine uh, like once a week or whatever. And when the outside sock gets holes in it, you can just get a sock from inside, switch it around and put the torn sock from the outside on the inside. So it's kind of a recyclable, washable dog toy. And you also do not get fluff or, you know, the stuffing from stuffed animals around your house, but it still has the same biting and chewing sensation as a stuffy toy. So how cool is that? That was pretty quick, right? That was like two minutes. Okay, we'll make one more because apparently I have enough socks. So that was so cool, right? It took like no time at all. The most time was literally taking the tags off the socks. If you have sports socks or athletic socks for men at home, it would be even faster for you because that was the actual time consuming part. Or if you didn't have to um, use dress socks and like put one inside the other, 
but for a dollar and some old socks, I am right into it. So this is $2 of dog toys, and they are, I think they're gonna be super great. So I'll let you know how the puppies like them when they come, or you'll see on the channel. Oh, I can't wait. So there's a nice place for just chewing on the sock, and then a nice knot for like a hard chew, and then squishy firmness to chew the rest of the foot size. So I think this actually worked out really great. What a great tip. Thank you so much for telling me about it. I had no idea. They're so cute, right? Look at those cute little chew toys. Adorable. I'm so happy my grocery store had these really crazy socks. <laughs> and I'm sure the grocery store was happy that somebody bought the crazy socks. It was only one pair of these and one pair of that. The rest were all sensible black. So lucky me, lucky puppies. And thank you so much for the great tip. If you have made any DIY dog toys that were a big hit at your house, let us all know in the comments below. Love to make more DIY toys and keep the cost down of raising awesome puppies into fabulous dogs. So so thanks so much for hanging out and we'll see you in the next video. I hope I'm not really washed out. I'm just really struggling with the light over here. Good Lord. I need like sunglasses or a hat. Ooh, these could be like antlers. Christmas stockings. These would be good Christmas stockings even. Boom, you're finished. What else could they be? L-shape. Shoulder pads, 80s. Living La Viva Loca. That's cool. Halloween, right? This would be something good for Halloween. I just don't know what it would be. <laughs> All right, off I must go. Have a great day.